Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Previously, I have tried to show how to model the grid of any study area, and in today's tutorial, I will show you how to refine the model grid using mode flow modeling under PMN platform. So, uh, grid forms the framework of the model and must be designed to represent realistic spatial variability. So, why refining model grid is important in our study area? Okay. Under simulations of the ground flow, and transports often need highly refined grids in local areas of interest in order to improve simulation accuracy. For example, refined grids may be needed in regions where hydraulic gradient has changed substantially over short distances, as would be common near pumping or injecting wells rivers, drains, and focused recharge areas. On the other hand, it is important to, in regions of site-scale contamination within a regional aquifer, where simulations of plume movement are of interest and also regions requiring detailed representation of heterogeneity, as may be required to be seamless, Faults, lithologic displacements caused by faulting, fractures, till lens, pinch outs of geologic units, etc. So, refinement of the finite grid used by mode flow can be achieved using different methods. However, in using the different methods, I would advise you and see the different materials, uh, their advantage as well as their disadvantage upon using. For example, this is the global refined grid is the one method. Having the advantage easy to build the grid can yield reliable results, no limitation of co-contaminant transport or particle trans tracking simulations. Whereas it has a disadvantage of creates needless amount of results outside the area of interest, resulting in longer simulation times. So there are also other methods as variable space grid, telescopic measure refinement local grid refinement, etc. So you guys, you can check which method is suitable for your study. If you would like to know these methods, I will drop a link for the explanation. Okay, let's go to the model and we will see the demonstration for refining grid. So uh, the first step is go to file and then open new model or I mean create a new model. Just click new model and then I want to create my model on desktop grid refining okay under this folder you can say it refine and then save okay here we can we have created our model and then go to grid and then mesh size for the demonstration purpose 
I don't check out any parameters other than the number of rows and the model extent. Okay, uh, I wish I do have 50 number of, number of rows at 50 and model extent 10,000. So same number for number of column and model extent 10,000. And then simply hit OK. Here is our model. This is hypothetical model. We are putting our cursor in layer one, row one, and column one. Okay. So uh, just right click on this area inside of the first row and first column, and then see it automatically opens the option of cool size. It has it has 200 by 200 grid spacing. So I just want to change this value to 30 by 30 to the whole my study area, and then OK. See, it shrinks. It becomes fine, and then I can proceed with the same fashion. Here is the first row two and column two, and then right click 30 by 30, and then OK. OK, after this, I can duplicate this because right click and changing this number of row and column is tedious, so I can copy and Proceed for all the grid cell num cell size. Just click this cell by cell duplication button, and then make for the other. See, Okay, proceeding and finishing like this. But if you are interested, um, for example, this area, you can just proceed like this. For me, I want to change all my query size with 30 by 30. Okay, it is not visible, so I can just zoom it. Okay. And then switch to our entry model. See, you can see this is 30 by 30. Everywhere this is 30 by 30. Okay. So that's right. Thank you for watching. See you next time.